Hey Cancer, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. Happy birthday. So we're going to take a look at the next two weeks and see what messages, energy is showing up here for you. So go ahead and click that like and subscribe button if you enjoy the reading. And if you would like to get a personal text reading with me, just click on my website, moonpytarot.com. All the links, everything you need to know is in the description box below. All right, so Cancer, let's see what the messages are. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. We're going to do a Celtic cross. All right, so the past, you have the death card. Present, you have the five of cups, the challenge, the strength driving the reading you have the eight of swords ten of pentacles what's coming down coming before you you have justice position of you and your advice two of cups queen of wands external to you the high priestess hopes and fears and your outcome is the six of pentacles so bottom of the deck cancer it looks like you're moving on you're facing some kind of fear in the next couple of weeks maybe you're traveling you're just getting out of a very i want to say tumultuous emotionally tumultuous situation that has affected you mentally and it looks like you're moving forward with something maybe you're taking a trip with someone or maybe you're going to be hopping in a uber i feel like or somebody's helping you out or helping you to move maybe relocate you might be moving in the next couple of weeks Yes, getting away from a devil energy, a very toxic situation, cancer. Um, yes, definitely a lot of travel. Things are moving very quickly. Um, I'm hearing dodged a bullet. I feel like you're dodging some kind of bullet. So the past, you have the death card. So something definitely ended in the past. Um, something that I, so what I'm hearing is something occurred happen very quickly and um, I'm feeling like I don't know if it was like a spiritual attack or something along those lines but I feel like something ended something came in really quick that caused you to put an end to it pretty damn fast okay current energy here cancer is the five of cups so there is something here with a lot a feeling of loss maybe some regret or some grief in regards to a situation you know feeling kind of i just feel like i don't know you're mourning something here i see you mourning something here right now okay <sighs> listen cancer whatever you went through which i'm not exactly sure what it was but it feels like there's this rush to get away from whatever something a person place or a thing that occurred and look what's driving you is because it's had an, a, a serious effect on your mental health for sure you know sometimes when i look at this card I, I would always think of like the damsel in distress you know and needing some kind of an emotional rescue this is a card of struggle mental struggle um something that you dealt with or something that ended or had to end it feels like it was some kind of a spiritual attack in some way and it's really messed up your head it's really messed up your mind it's messed up your heart it's caused this um, feeling of withdrawal feeling um, isolated or a sense of feeling imprisoned but what's crowning down on you is the ten of Pentacles there's this need here to get stability and structure um i feel like this is a message from spirit saying you need to you need to trust in me yes you need to trust in me so yeah I, I, they're not really telling me exactly what happened but whatever it was it really took a toll on you and it's taking a toll on you right now and there's this maybe support of family um there's maybe some money coming um there could something to do with being told to sell a home or break a lease you're being asked to like not asked but guided i want to say uh seek support of family or an elder 
um, there is something here about needing to get stable so the good news here is you have strength going forward so the courage to leave the courage to move the courage to step out you get strength to do something here to make some kind of move to make some kind of change yeah here you go to move fast quickly i don't feel so i know i know I, it doesn't you're not like i don't feel like you're in danger it's not a danger situation it's just you might have stepped back into something in the past or connected with someone that maybe was not healthy for you um could be it could be connected to like passion fire physical lust anything like that and I see you kind of, I don't know if it's escaping, it's not, or running, or it's just needing to get out of the danger zone. I'm just hearing that Kenny Loggins song. Highway to the danger zone. I don't know. There's something here about needing to get out of a, a toxic, dangerous, dangerous to your mental health situation. I'm not picking up like physical danger, anything like that. But if you are in that situation, Cancer, or you're fearing that then you know obviously there's something you're being guided here to move out to get out to 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 move to get going and you're going to get some good news like i said in the beginning where i saw the six of swords where somebody it looked like maybe is going to be helping you to get away from this devil energy or something very toxic unhealthy lies obsession possession discord um a person place or thing that has their grips on you yeah i feel like somebody comes in and and gives you a hand maybe offers you a place to stay or gives you an um presents an opportunity like some it's a supportive energy okay and your advice is to seek that support of someone who truly loves you and truly cares for you right you have that here and so and cares about the benefit your well-being the benefit of your well-being whether that's a friend or, so, or um, a romantic partner or it's someone who could be like a therapist or a healer or a physician um, your advice here is to connect with that person it could be this person who's helping you um, yeah I mean cancers are pretty strong people cancers aren't you know yeah they're always known for being emotional but they're they're cardinal signs so cancers are very much the type of zodiac sign based on their quadruplicity that they are fearless all right and and i i i feel like any kind of grief or anything that's put you out of sorts because you vibrate with the emotions and and the feelings that something feels off something doesn't feel right and i see you gathering your your bags gathering your people if you have kids or gathering your money whatever it is and getting yourself in a better position and you do have someone here um who is very supportive of you tremendously a partnership of some sort okay and cares about your well-being and is willing to exchange emotions to talk and listen to help you with some kind of situation here that you might be going through now what's external to you you have the queen of wands so masculine or feminine energy this is a person here who sits in the fire energy this could be the person that you're dealing with whether it's their sun moon rising or venus and they're being it's they're showing up very significantly here they're playing a role in whatever this situation is here you know, you could just be on a vacation with like a family member or a friend or uh, a romantic partner or something along those lines where all of a sudden you're picking up some kind of vibes like I got to go home because I, I can't deal with this. It could be as simple as that. It could be a romantic partnership or a decision that was made to get away from somebody here. I want to see why the Queen of Wands is here. What is the Queen of Wands showing? yeah got three of swords okay and the nine of pentacles so hmm. this could so this is an energy of like divorce discord arguments separation a breakup 
This Queen of Wands is on their own. Masculine or feminine energy, like I said. Um, pretty, pretty upset here with the Three of Swords. Pretty damn upset. About you going or you leaving I don't know I just feel like I mean I don't want to say I don't know but I just get a sense that you feel like something's off here in the next two weeks and I see you getting out of this or getting away from somebody here um Well, this is odd. This has never happened to me before. Hold on a second, you guys. Sorry it's so dark. Let me see. What is going on here? So, I'm not... I, I don't remember how I laid this spread out, but... I got justice. I don't remember where I put that card, but it doesn't matter because... Now I'm seeing here, justice, this is legal action. There's some type of legal action I feel like that's going to be taken. Sorry, I forgot to put my light on. And it's unknown to another person. So you might be taking legal action. But there's also a fear of not knowing how that's going to turn out. Okay? hoping that justice will be served is what I'm hearing there might there might be some kind of a, a like so if you're gonna leave a home stop paying something due to a situation that's not healthy for you or break a lease there might be some kind of legal action you might fear someone secretly tries to take revenge by doing something you know legal hiring a lawyer or taking someone to court you might be um, also concerned that if you do this, you you have a fear that you don't know how it's going to go. I can tell you with the Six of Pentacles, whatever happens, I feel like you will be, it will be fair. Uh, a fair, this feels like, um, because we have the scales here, and the scales here I feel like whatever this situation is occurring it will be fair and just you will receive something um, for this feels like karmic justice you will receive something for what you've dealt with here or what you're dealing with in the outcome right so if you're if you're that cancer who's like okay well I gotta I gotta go to court I gotta deal with this either I'm being taken to court or I'm gonna take someone to court or get the police involved or whatever the situation is I feel like it's going to be fair and I feel like you're going to be okay that feels more of a reassurance you have a lot of support especially one particular person support and backup behind you yeah so I don't get any I'm not getting anything real negative I just feel like you're in some kind of situation in the next couple weeks you might already be in it or something might come to light where you kind of realize that uh oh this this not what i thought it was this isn't i gotta do something about this or i made a mistake or i was deceived by someone you know this could have anything to do with your work your finances your career your your health you have wealth health and abundance you feel like everything's going to work out in this scenario in this situation Yep, luck is on your side. The wheel will be turning in your favor. You have the Midas touch. Good things are coming now, so be ready. Yes, you deserve this. Karma, like I said, is on your side for all the good you've put out. It's coming back around, and it's going to be a payoff. That's the wheel of fortune. Change in your favor. The wheels will be in motion. Even your car wheels. <laughs> that means you, you're, you're leaving. You're getting away from some person, place, or thing whatever it is yep put, it feels like you need to do something or you're going to need to put in some effort um, to see this outcome okay you could be leaving a job <laughs> you could be leaving a person you could be leaving family certain friends a romantic partner I don't know exactly what the situation is but I can tell you that 
This produces anger and no win situation for this person. Okay. I, I don't know what exactly they did, but I can tell you that it's going to be in your favor in the end here in regards to this. Okay. Let me get a couple of charms to see what your message is here. Oh, wow. Look, you've got a cross here. This represents protection. You are being protected, Cancer, from some, some situation here. Absolutely. Whether you're a believer or not, uh, this is about keeping the faith. Um, being a warrior, a soldier of faith. And you also have, okay, maybe you're Catholic. That kind of looks like the Vatican. But you also have like, um, this could be like a capital, uh, a government building. Um, this could have something to do also, I'm hearing, with like the Middle East. There could be a connection to that. There's something going on here. Um, there might be a connection to Italy or Rome as well. Uh, there might be a connection to Israel or Palestine. <coughs> Excuse me. There's something. Um, oh, gosh. Um, I'm also hearing um, like the Baltics area or uh, Russia or somewhere around in that area. There's a big there's some kind of big connection here. It could be a military thing that you're connected to. This might have something to do with military. You're dodging some kind of something which is going to be like the benefit for you. I don't I don't feel like any talking or anything like that is going to help. I feel like you need representation. You ha and you will have it and you will have other people, a person or other people who will be by your side to help you with this situation. All right. Let me think here. What else? What other messages? For Cancer, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Anything else that Cancer needs to know? Okay, you have the message, no, it's not the right time. Okay, so right now, um, it feels like you need to, you're going through some kind of grief, I think, or some sadness, or feeling hopeless. Um I feel like you need to absorb those feelings and let them pass. Don't do anything just yet. Wait till maybe next week. That's when you will somehow muster up some kind of courage to take action in a situation here. You'll get your strength back. So right now, wow, you have Gold Digger. Somebody might have been using you for your money or using you for something trying to get you to pay for something or pay for everything taking advantage of you yep all right and you have move on something something here in this reading is telling you to go at at this very moment if you're listening to this when i'm beginning this reading which is on july 1st right this very moment or at least this first week first through the seventh if you don't feel like you have the strength to go just yet then maybe wait it out unless of course you're in a physically um, abusive relationship then you don't wait for anything um but i don't know your specific situation so i really can't comment on it um but i will say if that's not your your situation and you're trying to figure out what you need to do and dealing with a lot right now maybe pray on it don't go just yet take care of your health that's what I was feeling is mostly going on here. You need to take care of your health and even your mental health, like we saw with the Eight of Swords here. There's something here. Your mental health is being affected, so I feel like you need to deal with that first and foremost. All right, Cancer, so I'm going to leave that reading here for you. The next Cancer reading will be on July 15th, so pop back in to get that next message for the Nick, the two weeks after, and then I'll be here every two weeks for you guys. All right, love ya. See ya. No one likes being like two. You made this mess and left me with the peace.